Hey everyone, it's Lisa. Welcome back to our channel. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make foiled stickers. This video is going to cover how to make clear foiled stickers, so if you'd like another video on how we make our foiled kits, make sure to hit the like button to let us know, and I'll be putting a link in the description for a step-by-step -step PDF guide of everything I'll be covering in this video. So let's get started. So we get asked all the time what sticker paper we use, and we use the clear glossy sticker paper from online labels. I'll have everything we use linked in the description. Um, you'll also need a laser printer. This is what the foil will stick to. Ours is the HP LaserJet Pro. Then you're gonna fill up your printer with your sticker paper and print your design. So today I am making Easter stickers from Till Our Tuesday. Um, in terms of printer settings, I just leave everything on default. I used to print everything on the best quality setting, but I found that that doesn't actually make a difference and I was using up the toner like crazy. So now I just use default settings and my toner lasts literally forever. Once I have everything printed, I am running it on our cutting machines. I personally like to cut our stickers first and then foil, but you could totally do the other way as well. Um, depending on the design, I tend to get less black spots when I cut first and then foil, uh, but there are specific cases where I will foil first. So for example, if I'm trying to foil a design that has cut lines through it, um, I will get black spots on those lines if I try to foil it after I've already cut it. So I find that foiling beforehand would be better in that scenario. Once everything has been cut, I will turn on my foiling machine to preheat it. This is an industrial thermal laminator that costs about $250 from Tamerica, but you can also use a regular laminator or a mink. I like to preheat my laminator at 120 degrees Celsius for at least 30 minutes to an hour. So I'll just turn it on while I'm cutting the foil and then by preheating it, the uh, laminator heats up evenly, so then when you are ready to use it, your life's likely to have black spots in your foil. Then I move on to uh, cutting the foil. Now I highly, highly recommend everyone get a self-healing mat and a rotary cutter. Both mine are from the uh, Fiskars brand. Um, they're not expensive at all and it will save you literally so much time. It makes cutting foil super easy and quick. So the exact brand of foil we use is actually a trade secret and we get our rolls in bulk so it's not something I'd recommend to most people. But I have tried a bunch of foil from different companies that I will have linked in the description. Once you have your foil cut, it is time to foil. So for our carrier, what we use to send our stickers through the laminator, we just use cardstock paper. It's sturdy enough to keep our stickers flat and it's not a big deal to replace every so often. So we take a piece of cardstock and then fold it in half hamburger style. And then we run it through the laminator a couple of times. We will do this at the beginning of every foiling session to preheat the carrier. And we find that this helps prevent black spots. What I love about this laminator is how fast the rollers are. So I can run three of these carriers um, at once and I can foil a stack of stickers very quickly this way. Once preheated, we just place our stickers with the foil and we're able to fit two quarter sheets on this carrier. And then the key to not getting black spots is to apply some pressure to flatten everything because you want the foil to be as flat as possible and then put it in the laminator. Once that is through the laminator, I like to peel off the foil immediately and as you can see, the foiling is flawless. So here is another example where the foil came out super flat. And then when I peel that off, it is also flawless. Um, if you find that your foil is coming out flat, but you're still getting black spots, I would recommend turning up the temperature of your machine. 
So that is exactly how we make our foiled stickers. If you'd like a step-by-step -step checklist of everything that was covered in this video, make sure to sign up for our email list and it will be sent to you as a PDF. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I hope you found this video helpful and I'll see you in the next one.